YouTube. We got something to talk about, man. If you paid attention to my thumbnail, you know today's conversation. We're going to be talking about the one and only world renowned Harley Davidson. If you are a Harley rider or not, I'm pretty sure y'all have heard about all of the news that's been going on as of late in regards to Harley Davidson motorcycles. Wow. She's a weed, dude. Road hazards. Anyway, I've watched many videos in regards to What's been going on? Now, I don't know every specific detail in regards to what Harley has done. I have watched a lot of videos, but I just don't remember everything verbatim in regards to what I have come across. But by the time I edit this video, I'll make sure I'll put up specific details in regards to the information that I'm talking about. Moving on though, rumor is, I'm not even gonna say rumor. Apparently, Harley Davidson has been given a lot of support to the alphabet community. And look, don't get it twisted. I have nothing against the alphabet people. Do what the hell you wanna do. The problem I have is with society and everyone else, well not everyone else, but people that support that small 1% of the population jamming it and pushing it down our throats to make it seem like it's normal. Which it is not. Like I said, you do what you want to do in your own life, fine. Just don't try to reinvent the wheel. Marriage is between a man and a woman. So just because two women or two men wanna be in a relationship doesn't mean it's marriage. It's not marriage. I don't care what you wanna call it. That's not marriage. Anyway, before I go too far off and the weeds with that, in regards to Harley Davidson, and you know what's crazy? I feel so bad calling it that because look what I'm riding. And if I had known about this before I bought this bike, I would not have bought it. Then again, I believe light was shed on the situation after I already had purchased this bike, so it wouldn't have mattered. But uh, apparently they're making all of their employees go to D EI training didn't earn it training. All of the white employees, white male employees. Which I think is total BS. And I think their CEO is a total jackass. I don't even know why Harley has a German CEO over an American company. With that being said, apparently they also have like temper tantrum rooms or something like that. 
or blow off steam rooms <laughs> or something like that. So I guess when men get upset, they can run over there and just kind of blow off some steam. I also read that Harley Davidson is one of the founding members of some type of alphabet people organization. I already told you, I don't know everything how to explain this verbatim word for word, but now some of you may ask, look, what difference does it make what organization a company supports? Once you give them your money, they're free to do what they want with their profits or their earnings. That is very true. But on the flip side of that, me as a customer, if I know what you're supporting, I also have a right to not spend my money at your business. For example, let's just say Nike. They take some of their profits every year and they invest in human trafficking. Would you still want to purchase Nike products? More than likely not. Same thing with Harley. The thing that, <clears throat> and one of the crazy things that really, really baffles the hell out of me is how these billion dollar businesses, we're talking about Harley, we're talking about Disney, I guess they really do not like making money. Y'all know the saying already, go woke, go broke. Harley keeps this up, they're gonna end up just like Budweiser. The alphabet people and the rest of these weirdos that support them only make up about 1% of the population. And here we have it. A lot of these one billion dollar businesses are just bowing the knee and caving in to their nonsense. Harley, you seen what happened with Budweiser? They still haven't recovered. You seen what happened with Target? They still haven't recovered. A lot of people are pissed, including myself. Now, and I'm not rich, so I'm not going to be going out here and just lighting this bike on fire or nothing like that. However, I will not buy another Harley product ever again until this is addressed. I have even thought about selling my brand new 2024 Road Glide. It has crossed my mind many a times in the last two days. Some of y'all may think that's an extreme way of thinking. However, I disagree. We gotta stand for something, people. And it's a damn shame how this small percentage of people have such a large voice and such a huge amount of pull and weight. But you know why that happens, right? Because people like us just sit by and ignore it and don't say anything, thinking it's just going to go away. Closed mouth don't get fed, y'all. We got to speak up. For real, we got to speak up. Not just against Harley, just against all the rest of this garbage that's going on as well. It's getting ridiculous. Well, it's been ridiculous, and now it's getting worse. My question to y'all is, what are we going to do? A lot of people complain about a lot of things, but they never do anything about it. There's two ways that change happens. One is either hit them financially in the pockets, don't support whatever entity it is or organization that is. And two, violence. Now I'm not advocating violence. I just mean that in contrast to a peaceful protest. 
protesting doesn't change anything. If you're going to protest, people are going to have to be willing to lay down their lives. That's when the changes come. Not just some standing up holding picket signs. That does nothing. The point of that is, this would stop if the consumer would stop supporting the product. Stop buying it. Y'all can see the way this world is going. Y'all can see it. Look at the Olympics. You got biological men that claim to be women boxing biological females. It's sad. Our country is going to hell in a handbasket along with the rest of the world. And guess who's leading the charge? Us my beloved United States. And I definitely don't even want to get started on Kamala Harris. That is another whole conversation in itself. But I will say one thing about that crazy broad. How is it that you're saying you 100% for women's rights, but you have not yet once spoke out about these mailboxes beating the hell out of these chicks in the Olympics? That tells me the only women's rights that you're talking about is murdering unborn babies. But I digress. Listen up, people. We got to speak out. We got to speak with our wallets. We really do. That's the only way to get our point across. We got to reach out to Harley. Like I said, don't support them. Don't buy no clothes. Don't buy no socks, hats, whatever the hell else you be buying underwear. If you're buying Harley condoms, stop that too. So look y'all, if this is not addressed, please do not be surprised. If by 2025, Harley Davidson doesn't rename or replace the Road Glide and name it the Harley Astro Glide. Or, matter of fact, that's maybe why they brought the breakout back. Because they was going to call it the Harley broke back or maybe even the Harley came out because Harley right now is definitely coming out the damn club I don't know y'all but look I don't do Twitter I don't do IG the only form of social media I partake in is YouTube So for all of you guys out there that's using TikTok and Twitter, do me a favor. You can chop this video up a little bit, add it to that. But I want you to throw in hashtag Harley Davidson. Hashtag Harley Astral Glide. Hashtag Harley Came Out. Hashtag Harley Broke Back. <laughs> I'm dead ass, y'all. I'm dead ass. Tell me what y'all think about what's going on with Harley. Have you heard about it? If you didn't, go look it up. And you will see. Like I said, I am just amazed at how such a small population of people can have such a loud voice. It's even affecting my video games. They've already destroyed my Star Wars. And it's the thing. I don't care what the hell y'all do in regards to movies or whatever else but why is it that y'all gotta take beloved classics and then remix them with a sprinkle of y'all gay shit on it Th that's crazy to me why don't you make your own original gay superhero show or original daggone LGB whatever alphabet people damn sci-fi show and y'all have pink lightsabers and rainbow flags. Oh, one more thing. Something that really irks the living hell out of me. We need to take back the rainbow, y'all. They, the rainbow does not belong to them. They've took the image of the rainbow and corrupted and polluted it. The rainbow is a symbol from the Lord after he flooded the world, there was a promise 
that he would never destroy the earth again by water. So he set that rainbow in the sky. They figured a way to take the damn thing and gay it all up. Hey, some of y'all may not believe in the Bible, that's on you. You'll have to deal with the Lord yourself on that one. The enemy's job is to make the things that's good seem bad, the moral things seem immoral, and flip-flop it. And make all the immoral and crazy stuff seem moral, like it's good. Hey, that's the world we living in right now, y'all, and it's only gonna get worse. Let's take our country back. Let's stand for what's right. And hit them where it hurts in the pocket, y'all. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And that's all I got for y'all. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, Please hit that subscribe button, all right? Oh, before I go, my apologies, y'all. Stay tuned, because I have done a decent amount of mods to the 2024 Road Glide. I'm just debating on do I want to make the videos as I'm going along doing these mods, or should I wait till they all done? Y'all tell me down in the comments. Y'all want to see the progress of the mods and things I'm doing as I'm going along or do you want to just wait till I'm all done and you guys see the total finished product? And also let's talk about this whole Harley Davidson debacle. Talk to me y'all. Alright? Salute.